So I picture if you go camping, <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I have been really enjoying neutrals and pinks, which I was thinking about it, and I'm like, I feel like I was, I feel like that just came up in my favorites recently, but I feel like my favorites are kind of like fashion, you know, like the 70s come back every so often in fashion, the 80s come back, the 90s, blah, 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 blah. Kind of feel like my favorites are the same way. So we're back to neutrals and pinks. So I have a couple of new favorites, and then I also kind of shot my stash, revisited old favorites in my collection, and yeah, fun things to chat about, so let's get to them. Okay, so I was doing some organizing in my makeup, and I came across the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette, and I thought you couldn't get this anymore, but I was looking, and it's still available on QVC last time I was checking, so this is a really pretty, neutral everyday palette it smells like vanilla so I love that it smells like the tartlet palette so if you like the way the tartlet palette smell that kind of vanilla it smells like vanilla to me I don't know if it's I think it's vanilla anyway smells good love the scent of it and it's just an awesome neutral palette I mean you've got different options in here kind of slightly deeper neutrals over here kind of mid-tone cool tone neutrals and this is kind of I guess I would say that's a little bit cool toned as well. This is slightly more warm toned. So I have this in my crease. I really like this as a crease color. I think technically this is supposed to be a bronzer. I also have this on as my bronzer today, but it works really well on the eyes. And then I have a little bit of a mixture of this, this, and this in kind of the outer corner of my eyes. Look how pretty. The texture on these products is really good it is i would say that kind of buttery powder <laughs> sort of a formula where it is just really blendable and not gritty not overly soft it is soft but not crazy soft just just that kind of really rich very pigmented i mean you can see it there sort of a formula. It is so good. This is one of those palettes that you can just kind of keep out on your vanity to pair with other things. I mean, it's great by itself. It totally stands alone by itself. It works by itself, but it works really well paired with other things as well. And then you've got your kind of like blending shades um, for your eyes, but then you've also got great bronzy contouring kind of shades. This is the middle one, the middle larger product. So that one's more of a cool tone. So you've just got great products in here that you can use in different ways. It is such a good palette. So I was excited to see that it's still available somewhere. Okay, so another new at the drugstore sort of preview sneak peek is this Maybelline Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Pen. So somebody had asked me in the comments like if I've tried these and I told them that I wasn't super impressed. And I feel like this is kind of like what I'm about to mention in a second, the Maybelline Ink Crayon Pencils. I feel like I'm really changing my opinion of this product. I'll talk more about it in the newest drugstore video because now this is the second color I have in this product, but I feel like I'm starting to like it. And for different reasons. So this is the, like I said, Color Strike, and this is in the shade 35 Flash Metallic. So this is what I have on my lids, not on the inner corners of my eyes, just on my lids. And it is really an interesting product. It looks like just a little sponge tip stopper daily do. And it says it's cream to powder. I don't know if I think this is cream. I really just feel like it is a powder smushed into the bottom of this container. So only main negative I would say to this is how long is this gonna last? You know, I don't think it's a very super affordable product because depending on where you get it, it's like anywhere from, you know, seven to nine-ish dollars. So for one shadow, that's, you know, not super inexpensive, especially if this doesn't last very long. But what I'm liking about it is the convenience of it. 
you can just, you've got like your applicator in there. So I just kind of pop it on my lid with the applicator and I'm liking it. So I like the idea of this, like, I have no idea why this is the scenario that I think of because I've never been camping. <laughs> At least like not in a tent, like the for real camping. I've been, in, I've been to a camp, like in a cabin, wasn't a fan. <laughs> But for some reason, we're talking about camping. So I picture if you go camping, <laughs> I don't know, and you wanna wear some makeup, this would be a product you could just, you know, have in your bag and you have two of these because there's even like a matte color that you pop in your crease and a little bit on your lids. And then you've got some glam in your camping, which is about the only way that I could find camping exciting. <laughs> Anywho, there it is right there. It's a really pretty gold color flash metallic is the name of this one. So it's just a an orangey sort of a, a gold color and it does have shimmer. This one definitely has shimmer in it. So I don't know. I just picture it as like a an easy sort of a makeup, like an eyeshadow step that you just use the applicator, put it on your eyes, and then there it is. You know what I mean? But I'll talk more about it in my new at the drugstore video coming soon. A new product that I've been playing with that, oh my goodness, I love so much. Ofra sent this to me. This is the Midi Palette in Sweet Electric, and it comes with Blissful Highlighter, Crazy Pink Blush, and Cocoa, I would say bronzer kind of a product. So you've got the three in there, which is really nice. Let me swatch them all for you. I'll tell you what my, sta well, there's a couple standouts in here. It's all pretty. It's a really pretty palette. So I have just a little bit of the bronzer. I mean, very little, just a very soft application of it kind of in the hollows of my cheeks. I do have the blush on today. Oh my goodness. And then I have the highlighter actually not on my cheekbones. I don't think, I think I just put it on the inner corners of my eyes, but it's beautiful on the cheekbones. Okay. So here are the swatches. Blissful is a beautiful, I would say pinky rose gold, like it's moving a little bit more towards pinky, I would say. And then Crazy Pink is this beautiful, glowy, kind of bubblegum pink blush color. And then the bronzer is kind of a warm toned, um, glowy sort of a bronzer, really pretty. So I'd say the bronzer is my least favorite thing um, in the palette, but it's still pretty, but I love the blush and the highlighter, especially this blush. I love this blush. It is so beautiful and glowy and easy to blend. I mean, it was not difficult to blend on the cheeks. It just is very effortless. So great formula to it. Such a pretty color that it's got that glow to it. So, I mean, it just, oh, catches the light so beautifully. I'm obsessed with it. And also what I found was really fun. So I'd done my eye look and I put on my cheeks and I was like, you know, I kind of want to bring it into my eye look a little bit. So I just put it in my crease a little bit and it worked. It brought in, I hadn't done that until today. It kind of just brought in this glowy rosiness into the eye look and kind of helped, I don't know, tie it together a little bit. I've mentioned that before about putting your blush on your into your eye look to kind of tie everything together. But I don't know, a glowy blush, I wasn't really expecting it to work well, but it did. I liked it. I like how it all came together. I like the whole finished look. So yeah, this is such a pretty palette. Okay, and then lip favorites. So I have two pink lip favorites. So let's talk about this one first. I do have both of these on today. So I have the deeper color around the outsides of my lips and then the lighter color kind of more on the inner parts of my lips, just kind of the, the middle part of my lips. Okay. I totally changed my tune about these Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. I love them now. I really, really love them. I don't know, I think because I've said this before, I was hanging on to the color blurs. I really liked the formula on those, but I just, this is like what I love about drugstore makeup. This is just, I don't know, long time drugstore makeup lover, I mean, you know, I worked at Walgreens and I loved working in the makeup department. So I've just, I've always loved drugstore makeup. So this is so awesome drugstore makeup in that 
It's super affordable. There's lots of color options. And I love that the outer packaging matches the product. I feel like that's something that high-end makeup doesn't really do a lot. And I understand why. I mean, they're going for the more luxury packaging look to it. But something about this just makes me smile. I love it. And, I, and the convenience of it, that you can just quickly see what color it is. I don't know. Do y'all get it? Do y'all know what I'm saying? Do y'all, y'all are with me. You get it. So yeah, I just, this is what I love about drugstore makeup. So this is the Superstay Ink Crayon. The formula has totally grown on me. I think it's an easy lip product. And this is in the shade Treat Yourself. And it's a really pretty, fun, I would describe this as a bright kind of magenta. It's so, it's just like a pop of color. It's a happy color. It's beautiful. And when you wear a color like this, you want it to be pretty low maintenance. You don't want to have to, you know, fiddle with it, worry about it a lot. And this is an easy formula. It just kind of sets down to be more of a satin matte. Um, it doesn't do the there, not there line. It wears away more like a matte lipstick would. It's a good formula. The only thing I would say is when you do have a deeper color like this, you know, it is more of a chubby crayon. So it's a little bit more difficult to get that precise application. So if you want, I don't know why I'm still just drawing on my hand, but here we are. <laughs> if you want a more precise application, you may need to bring in a lip liner. Um, but I mean, I didn't use a, a lip liner. I just used this. So you get pretty close to precise application, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult than if it were a tiny little lip liner. You know what I mean? So anyway, pretty, pretty color. It does have a strong scent to it. It's like a sweet candy, I don't know, fruity sort of a scent. So it's strongly scented, but it smells good. And then the other lip product, I think I got this around my birthday in April. So this is the NYX Filler Instinct. And this is in the shade Miami Nights. Miami Nights. Let me get off the other color because it probably has some of the other mixed into it. Okay. Got it all cleaned off, so it's just a regular sort of a lip color. And this is more of a, I would say, sheer, shiny, but buildable sort of a formula. So if you apply it lightly, you're gonna get more of a sheer application. Not super sheer, but just not, not completely opaque. Um, like, let me just do that. You can kind of see it. Starts sort of like that, but then you can build it up. And it's got this really pretty glossiness. Main thing to know about this lip product it says filler instinct because it does have a some kind of a plumping agent in it because it does have a feeling on the lips um i wouldn't describe it as cooling i would say it's more of that tingle on the lips um not uncomfortable but you can definitely feel it it feels a little bit i don't know like a react i don't want to say a reaction is happening but like you can feel that it's doing something i don't notice a huge plumping difference or anything like that I just more like the look of it on the lips. I love the color, that it's a really pretty kind of bright, bubblegummy sort of pink. So it's a pretty color. The packaging is cute on it. Um, but just know it does have that sort of tingle to it. So I've got both of these on today and I think they work really well together. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.